What's in color there are the states that were surveyed under the public land survey system. This system was devised primarily by Thomas Jefferson and somebody question yesterday and Thomas Jefferson did do surveying. George Washington actually was a surveyor and uh, Abraham Lincoln actually did some of the original surveys in Illinois. So some of you may have seen the poster of the of the of uh, Mount Rushmore and the heading says three surveyors and some other guy because three of them were surveyors. <laughs> in the colonial states all of that was granted out by, by England and in some cases probably by Spain and it was a huge mess, a huge mess. So when the federal government got the land from the Northwest Territory, they said, no, we're not gonna, we have a whole pristine area, we're not gonna screw it up like what happens in the East. And what happens in the East are things like, well, as the state of North Carolina is a case in point, at, at one point in time, if you added up all the acreages for all of the land, it added up to twice as many acres as actually existed in the state. And the reason Abraham Lincoln ended up in Indiana is because the land they thought they had in Kentucky either turned out to be owned by somebody else or, or it didn't exist or something like that. We find descriptions in the meets and bounds, which is what we call the meets and bounds states, the colonial states. And the reason, by the way, that Kentucky and Tennessee there are because they were claimed by Virginia and uh, probably North Carolina originally. You see descriptions in those areas that say things like, and who's a Dave Barry says, I'm not making this up, right? I'm not making this up. It says things like, beginning at a stone opposite the corner of Klein's barn, now gone. And you do research and you find out that the barn burned down in 1873, and the stone was plowed out in 1901, and there's a description still being used and the best they could do was point out that the things they're talking about actually don't exist anymore. And this is not unusual. I, t I tell stories like that in the public land states when I do a seminar, I'll tell a story like that and everybody just laughs uproariously because they just don't realize that. I go to a colonial state and I tell a story like that and they all sit there and go, yeah, that's what we deal with every day. So it's an entirely different system. But you see that we've got the majority of the states and certainly the majority of the land. Alaska is also a public land state. Uh, Hawaii is not, and Texas is not. Texas, of course, at least uh, Texas came out of Mexico, obviously, so there are a lot of Spanish type of, of uh, grants and things that happen in Texas.